Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon. In this session, we are going to see IPD diagram and uh, means database diagram of the inpatient department and there are three tables are remaining. Correct means there is a uh, functionality point of view and uh, yes means how that particular functionality assigned to the user and write assignment and there are some select queries. Correct and questions as well means how uh, questions are asked on that particular data and uh, one more thing there is a excel data analysis means we can analyze those data in excel as well as means there are different tools using the python we can uh, analyze the data power bi tableau but right now it is the simple example means handy and uh, i will show you how to connect that excel to the our sql server and you can uh, analyze the data using the excel so first of all we will go through the ipd diagram database diagram so which table is important for the ipd so inpatient and here suppose uh, mm, yeah first of all i will show you and uh, then yeah here is the ipd i added here and uh, yes here is the patient category patient id like patient category patient these tables and why we are doing this means doing the diagram creation actually uh, miss with the help of that you can easily identify the relation in between this table means primary key is the patient table means patient table there is having a one uh, patient id and it having multiple admissions like so one has to many relationship means here is the primary key and here is the foreign key so this is the relation uh, bind in between and uh, you can show that uh, um, show relationship labels as well means admission is belongs to the patient admission belongs to the patient category such like that and uh, at table there is a first of all finish the uh, patient category id patient id doctor id unit id add doctor then unit correct and then after that relation id means who is uh, come with patient what is the relation with that person with patient correct and uh, after that bed id company id bed and insurance company correct so these are the insurance company and this is the bed and one by one uh, table we can add the uh, different primary tables of them um first of all yeah it having patient having the uh, gender is the gender and city so add and city we can add and uh, likewise in the opd we uh, checked there is a uh, we added uh, there is a state city so means you uh, you can easily understand that thing and from bed wise yeah bed having the ward id and room id you can that as add that as well um first of all ward and room okay so close it so doctor uh, is the table and gender id then there is a department id we can add that department table here add sorry add department 
correct so department is belongs to doctor uh, yes miss likewise you can if there is a any option then you can add that no problem and i will arrange that particular tables and uh, give the and notion mm, ipd module and it will be a uh, useful for you to understand the database means which table is connected to which table and how much rows and means one to many many to one relationship in between them okay then i am saving it as a ipd means for each uh, module wise you can create the database diagram and it will help you to understand the database okay then uh, first of all then what is the next topic uh, there are three tables we left uh, to understand there is application functionality user and user rights correct right now they don't have any records so what i will do first of all application functionality means what is the functionality means here is the file edit view query project these are the menu same application in miss hims application in that there is a ipd billing opd pathology radiology uh, and different functionalities as well miss admin I will access only administration then pathology users can access only pathology billing user can access only the billing department things such like that and user user is uh, where this user come from staff correct means those are uh, users are related to the staff department means uh, those are users are available in the staff table that will come as a uh, one entry in the user table first of all uh, let's say staff is the table and uh, so department id 13 14 based on that you have to select there is a department and uh, let's say here is the and in this you have to uh, filter the one clause means uh, each clinical department or uh, based on that means pathology department because these are the some clinical and there is a some nursing department so nurses are come in a nursing department so what is the id department id 23 and 23 is belongs to this correct and that 23 is come into the staff correct and uh, that 23 uh, staff id is a 109 and 109 id come into the user table as a staff id and uh, miss that nurse will have miss um, uh, status and all these things miss uh, that particular staff will consider as a user and after that there is a access right miss there is a nursing is the functionality nurse is the user and then access right miss that functionality having the right rights for an example what i will do first of all i will insert the data then you can easily understand yes these are the some uh, functionalities i inserted means masters master means there are some master tables we are having like the department then service so these are come under the master and uh, ipd billing opd billing pathology radiology these are the some different functionalities so i am inserting data in it and uh, 21 22 so how that i will yeah showing you in a few seconds and staff id as a one so i am inserting data into the access right first of all user id then functionality id let's see in detail so this is the functionality and these are the users actually it is the 
many to many relationship means how uh, first of all there is a functionality means and here uh, here is the user id means user id means nothing but the staff id and uh, there is a actual relationship bind in between user and uh, sorry user and functionality means user id is one means who is the user id yeah one is the user id means staff one id and he having the rights to access the all six functionalities correct means he can see the uh, status means one means he can uh, he having the rights to see the data of um, all the uh, modules correct and then there is a second user uh, means user id is the two uh, and uh, means 21 as a staff id and two will access only ipd billing and there is a three user means user id is equal to three he can able to access uh two and three means ipd billing and opd billing means these are the we can uh, consider them as a billing user correct and from the uh, their id staff id means 21 22 so you could see they are uh, there are the some their department is the 21 22 first of all staff staff having 21 correct means 21 i am going to 21 yeah 15 15 is the department id correct where department id is equal to 15 and uh, here you can filter as well here if we have to uh, select the multiple things filter the multiple things then you can use the in clause where stop id in Twenty one and twenty two. Yes, those are matching with twenty one and twenty two. We will get uh, get the roads. Yes, department ID fifteen, and so fifteen is the nothing but the billing department. Yes, so this billing department user can access the IPD billing and OPD billing. Same why uh, same uh, rights you have to do and. Uh, in application point of view uh, there is a rights master screen and with the help of right master screen we can do the multiple checks means first of all this functionality access by which user and uh, this user is accessing which functionality so we will get the report complete report from this table we have to just join this table with user id uh, functionality id and uh, application functionality we have to connect yeah let's start how to connect the excel with sql server so click on the data and there is a get data and from database from sql server database you have to establish the connection first so provide the server name and then database is the option optional and uh, if I say okay then you will get the complete list of databases at here and there are some objects at here miss uh, function stored procedure view table but I want the select query I have to execute so what I will do from database SQL server and uh, there is a my comp and after that advanced option and then I will write a query so what I will do my query is ready at here means it is just give, giving us the uh, visit date department number and visit ID I will make an aggregation in uh, Excel correct and uh, yeah uh, let's say uh, I have to give the HMS as the database name otherwise it will check how on which database I have to uh, execute that so 
we are getting the 10k records in this correct so what i will do i will insert the chart at here and um, simple chart as a bar chart and uh, or uh, one more thing you can do at here there is a load to pivot chart means whatever that data is here so this is as a considered as a source and there is a visit id it is summation but what we have to do we have to do the count because 10k records right so you have to select the count of visit id 10k records so, correct and then department wise so here what you have to do you have to just drag and drop field at here then you will get the this information means for which department how much patients are visited correct and uh, you can uh, make change the colors as as per your choice and um, one more thing there is a i am selecting this chart again and the visit date correct so visit date also there is a different aggregations means like the month quarter year so what i will do i will remove the visit date and then months then quarter right click on it and remove field so year wise you will get the data correct and uh, you can switch it like this as well means year wise and then department wise you can apply the filter as well or here year wise you will see the data means different way like year at year and there is a department wise means in the uh, department wise and you will see the add data labels so i will show you there is a add data labels and you will get the uh, uh means you can identify which uh, having the data means how much is the patient count for that particular department i hope you can easily learn that and you will get the uh, detail analysis on it and uh, there is a filter as well you can add and uh, yeah you will get the data easily so that you can analyze it is used for data scientist purpose uh, means they can easily use it or data analyst and uh, you can uh, anal analysis means n number of records at right here or uh, there is another way means in sql uh, here because right now aggregation are done in excel but you can do the aggregation in sql as well and from performance point of view it is better to have a heavy query execute in sql rather than the power bi excel tableau because uh, miss give the load on the sql engine instead of the reporting tool and just give the uh, reporting for means there is a minimal load means just formatting and all these things and most of the load is from the sql point of view so that means that report will be a more faster i hope you got this complete knowledge thanks thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please share it and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye